This video describes how to use the 61850 test suite to send and receive Goose messages. In the 61850 test suite, Anvil is always the Goose publisher and Hammer is the Goose subscriber. So here I have Anvil running and the first thing I need to do is make sure I have a Goose adapter configured. So I go to Options, Configure, Servers, select the server I'm running and scroll down to the Ethernet adapter section and look at the Goose adapter. Now this adapter needs to be, in most cases, a physical Ethernet port. You most likely don't want to run Goose over a wireless connection and usually can't use a virtual port. So in my case, the correct port to use would be the Intel Pro 1000MT network connection. While you're in the configuration option, you probably want to look under application and look at the Ethernet adapter and set the default adapter here as well. That way when you create new servers they will use this default and you don't have to set it with each server. So Now I say OK. If I changed the Goose adapter, the server has to be restarted in order for the change to take effect. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate this even though I didn't actually change it. We would simply close the server and then restart it. Also in Anvil, we can look at the Goose Control section and notice the min time and max time. In order to set the min time and max time, we need to disable the Goose Control blocks. Now they show up as editable. When there are no status changes, messages will begin being sent at min time and they will decay down to max time. So let's start at say 10 milliseconds and decay down to 5 minutes. So Anvil is now configured to send Goose messages. So let's look at the Hammer configuration. So here I have Hammer running and connected to Anvil. Like Anvil, I need to check the status of my Goose adapter. I'm in this server. And again, we want to look at the Goose adapter. In this case, mine was already set up for this network. And we also can look under Application and set the default adapter so in the future we'll default to the correct adapter. Also, if Hammer and Anvil are running on the same machine, we need to look at the loopback. For Hammer, the Goose loopback setting should be true. For Anvil, the Goose loopback setting should be false. Those are the default values, but it's probably worth taking a look to verify that they're still correct. So false in Anvil and true in Hammer. Going back to Hammer, once again, if I changed that adapter, I would need to restart the client. So I'm going to close the client connection, and then I'm going to restart it. So now, Hammer is connected to Goose. If we go look at the Goose control blocks, in order to receive Goose messages, I first need to enable the block, and then I need to subscribe. Notice this symbol here for the messages. Right now it is grayed out up here because we have not received any Goose messages, but once I subscribe and we start receiving Goose messages, we'll see this turn this yellow gold color. There we are. So now I can click here and look at my Goose messages.
and we see we got a message. Now we can generate more messages by coming into Anvil and going to the simulation pane and starting simulation. Anvil generates goose messages based on data change. Now in a real world application, not all data changes may produce goose messages, but Anvil being a test server um, does this so that it's easy to generate goose messages. So now if we go back to Hammer, we can see lots of goose messages being sent. So as you can see, it's fairly simple to send and receive goose messages using Hammer and Amble.